one, two, three, one, two, three. <clears throat> Hello. What I'm going to do in this video is demonstrate how to use scripts to inject a object into leveled lists. So the reason you'd be doing this is basically to distribute a new object like a weapon or a junk item or piece of armor, distribute it dynamically around the Commonwealth without actually having to edit any of the vanilla items. So what you might do is you could or you could manually add your object to these items, but doing that would obviously register it as an edit within your mods and if another mod edits that item, you're going to get a conflict. So the safest way to do this is to use scripts to essentially inject your new object into your leveled lists. So I'm going to imagine for purposes of this tutorial, we're just using a, a, a new misc item. Just, you know, I assume you have something in mind for your uh, mods, but for purposes of this tutorial, I'm just going to do anything. So I'm just going to call it tutorial Abraxo and just give it a name as well. Sezans Abraxo. So this is going to be the new object that we are going to be adding to our levels list. We'll save that. So within the level lists, we have quite a lot of different things, and this is sort of not something I'm going to go into too much detail what exactly all these are, because this tutorial is just going to be about the syntax syntax of adding this of uh, doing the actual injection. So let's say you wanted to add it to junk small, because we find that a Braxo cleaner does appear in here, and junk small is then used by various containers throughout the wasteland. So if I add it to this leveled list, it will be added to those containers that it is used by. So we're not going to edit that because like I said, that would create a potential conflict with other mods. What I'm going to do is add it via scripts. So I'm going to create a new quest to do that. Tutorial, levels, quests, just give it any ID. I'm going to OK out of that. And go back into it, and all this stuff will have appeared. So we're going to go to our scripts, and we're going to create a new script. So we're going to add new script. OK. OK. I'm just going to cancel that, because I'm going to manually add the property. I always type them out manually, even though you can use the form, uh, the property editing form to do it. So first of all, I'm going to create a misc object property, which is going to point to a tutorial, a Braxo that I um, made earlier and then we're going to need a leveled item property and this is where we're going to have to decide what leveled items we actually want to add it to so we have to search for a suitable one I was thinking junk small we can do as many of these as we want but I'm just going to do one so I'm just, gonna, I'm just copying my name so don't type it out wrong and then the auto const flags as well and I have done that right excellent so now what we're going to do is we're going to want this script to run as soon as the quest starts. So once a user has downloaded and, in downloaded and installed your mod, once they boot their game, this quest will run. And as soon as it runs, we're going to want to add those objects to our leveled list. So I'm going to use the event on quest init. So as soon as this quest initializes, as soon as it starts, we're going to run whatever we type under this heading. So I am going to take the ll underscore junk underscore small which is our level list and we're going to write dot add form open brackets the name of our object or the um, property which is pointing to our object and now there are two more arguments we need to pass so we need to pass over the level which is the level at which the player level at which it will start to appear in the game and how many of those objects we want to add to the form list so for the most part i just do one and one so that means that my piece of Abraxo will start appearing when the player is level 1, and there's only one of them in the list. So when the game is um, choosing which item to add, it'll only add it'll only add one Abraxo to the container. If I wrote 5 in here, if it selected my Abraxo, it would add 5 of them. So I can sort of show you what I mean. Um, if I go into here, this is the level at which that item will be added and this is the number of those items so if a container contains ll junk small if it contains this leveled item it'll randomly pull out 
one of these things to add in. So if I play it, so it will randomly put in one alarm clock. But if I change that to two alarm clocks, it might randomly put in two alarm clocks and we can preview the calculated result. So if a player opened that container that contained this object, it's got one of Braxo in it in this instance, or maybe it's got one tin can. So that's what that means. And then I'm just going to end event. And that is literally all you have to do. So if I had another leveled item, I would type in the leveled item here and add the tutorial of Braxo again. So I'm just going to save that again because I've made it. Close that and we are going to have to remember to fill in our properties. So because I've manually typed them in, they will be defaulted to none. If I had added a property via the form, it might have filled it in. Now because I've given these the same name as the object they're pointing to, we can just auto fill it and it will automatically put the two properties. But you can choose anything from the drop down list that you want. So I'm probably not going to demonstrate this working in the game because it will be a little given the random nature of how the game selects objects. Um, it will be very difficult for me to actually demonstrate that. I'd have to wander around the wasteland for ages trying to find my Braxo cleaner appearing in furniture. But essentially that syntax is all that you need to do. So if you're creating a new object and you want to distribute it randomly around the commonwealth for users to find, um, you use that syntax to add it to these leveled lists. So hopefully that was clear. Um, thank you for watching and goodbye.